Welcome to Electron Online. Here's our third example of how to use the method of variation of parameters to solve a linear first order differential equation that's non homogeneous. y prime minus y equals 3 e to the x. And remember that this is the general form of a first order linear differential equation. And let's say that v is the solution to the homogeneous part of the equation, which is this part right here, letting r equal 0. So this is the equation that's done homogeneous and v can then be written as e to the minus integral of f of x dx where f in this case is equal to minus 1. So we're going to then assume that we can find the solution y is simply equal to the product of some function of x, let's call it u, times another function of x, v sub x, v of x, where v is the solution to a homogeneous part and all we have to do is find u to, so that this product will then be the solution to the differential equation. Now u can be found by saying that u will be equal to the integral of r divided by v. Now where did that come from? Well if you're interested go back to the first video in the series where I showed how to do the theory, what the theory was behind this particular method of variation of parameters. All right, let's find out what v is equal to. In this case, v is equal to e to the minus integral of a minus 1 times dx, which is equal to e to the integral of dx, which is equal to e to the x. So that's the solution for v, which will go in here. Now for u, we then get this is equal to the integral of r, where r is equal to 3 e to the x, divided by v, where v is equal to e to the x dx, can't forget about the dx, which is equal to the integral of 3 times dx, which is equal to 3x plus a constant of integration. So now we also found u, we found v, we then plug that back in here. We're going to rearrange the term, so y is equal to v, which in this case is e to the x, times u, which in this case is 3x plus a constant of integration. And this then is the solution to that first order linear differential equation that's non-homogeneous in this case and uh, that's how we use the method of variation of parameters. It's a pretty slick method.